How much do you love God? Do you love God enough to even give him some of your time? Or do you give yourself um, some time? How much do you love people? A lot of times we say, I do love God. I do give God some of my time. And a lot of times we give God a little bit of our time, right? But God loved us so much. Didn't he give his son? But y'all, we short God and we always want God to bless us. We want God to give us so much. But y'all, join me in this video so I can tell y'all how much do you really love God, right? Come on, join me in this video. Don't miss out. Hey y'all, my name is Tiffany Permis and we gonna get in this video. Don't forget to hit that like so somebody else can hear this video and don't forget to subscribe. But if you're not ready to subscribe yet because you want to listen to this video first, that's all right. So let's get into this. But before we get into this, let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you and we praise you and we ask you to forgive us all our sins. We say that none of us not like you, Lord. Lord, we just give you glory and praise just because of who you are. And Lord, we just love you. In Jesus' name pray. Amen. So y'all, have you had a problem of figuring out, do I really love God? Or you think, I do love God because I know him. I heard about him. And I mean... Who does not love God? Or you just love him because everybody else said you just should love him, right? But y'all, if you have heard the scripture as far as in Deuteronomy, right? In Deuteronomy 6 and 5, it tells us, And thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart and with thy soul and with all thy might. It's telling us we should love him with our heart, with our soul, and all our might, with all that we have. Right, not just partial of us uh, when we always need something. I should love him every part of my life. I should give God all of my time. Not just, oh, well, I'm going to just give him some time here. And when I need something, when I'm going through something. No, I should love him throughout my lifetime. Because God, you gave your son for me. Right? But God had wrote this in the beginning of the Bible to let them know, you should not love no other God but me. Right? Because I'm doing all of these things for you. But but his son didn't come later until the New Testament, okay? But he was letting them know that I'm always coming through for you. He was coming through for people in the Bible, okay? And this let us know that God loved us and he continued to bless us and even when they was doing wrong in the Bible. But he wanted to see how sincere was people going to be even when he was blessing them. How sincere was people going to be even when they was what doing wrong are we going to come back and ask God to forgive us it's all about the sincerity are we going to pray and say Lord help me you know what I'm saying God loves us are we going to love God you know what I'm saying when God do bless us see we want God to bless us in a moment but we can't even give God some of our time Y'all, God wants all of us. You know, people can, like I said, God, people can tell us about God all day long, but it's going to be up to you. Are you going to turn your life over to God and say, God, I really need you for my own self because I heard about you. I seen what you did for people, but I need you because I know you the one that can help me throughout my life. Allow me to see things spiritually because look, I can't live this life without you. I cannot move without you. Look, this this world is getting wicked and wiser, meaning it's allowing people to be so influenced by the things that's going around that they can't even see what is truly going on spiritually, that people are getting attacked daily by the enemy. And we have to be mindful that our minds are going crazy if we are not allowing our minds to go spiritually how God needs it to go right but if we love God and allow God to control us how it needs to be we will be mindful that the enemy is trying to take you off guard but if you love God so much you allow God to be in control of your life and do what he got to do in your life. Love God with all your heart regardless what goes on. I understand, I understand things go on in life that you just don't understand. But understand this. God always going to be on your side as long as you trust him. As long as you allow him to take the wheel for you. God wants you to have him. God wants you to need him. Not be forced to have him. Right? Allow somebody to push you and say, you 
need him right now. No, God wants you to come to him on your own. All right. Cause it's a free will to get to know him. Right. God gave you that choice to want him. Right. But y'all loving God is something that is so, so the best thing you could ever have. Because look, God gave his son. And look, God is so patient and kind with you. That's the best thing you could ever have. So loving God will show you what love is all about when it comes to loving people. Most of all, loving yourself. So do you truly love God? Or do you just love him for that moment when he blessing you with things and then you forget about him and then you get upset when something go wrong? No, I'm going to love God when I'm going through something. I'm going to love God in the moment of when I am blessed. I'm going to love God in the middle of when I'm everything is just okay. Love God with everything you got. Okay, love God in the midst of everything that's going on. Because God knows it all. So do you truly love God? Yo, I pray that this video has truly, truly blessed you. And know the meaning of what love really is. Because when you know what love really is and know who love is, it is God. All right? So, y'all, I pray that y'all all have a wonderful and blessed day. Thank y'all for watching this video. And y'all, before we get out of here, let us pray. Heavenly Father, we come to you humble as we know how. Lord, we ask you to forgive us for all our sins. We say and then that was not like you, Lord. Lord, we thank you for loving us. We thank you for being with us, Lord. And Lord, we give you glory and praise. In your son Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Y'all, don't forget to hit that like button. Thank y'all so much for subscribing. And y'all, don't forget to share this video. May you you all be blessed and blessings to you.